Now we're going to talk about figure at numbers. Pythagoras and his fellow mathematicians, the Pythagorean Brotherhood, studied numbers of geometric arrangement of points. Uh, for example, we have these triangular numbers here, where the points are all the points on a triangle that includes the previous triangles. And here I messed up a bit. We shouldn't have these and that. But they go, we can start with a point here, which is just one. And the second triangle has three points. The third triangle has six. The fourth has 10. Our square numbers work the same way. We've got a point for one, four points for four, nine, for, uh, nine points for three squared, and 16 for four squared. Pentagonal numbers are tougher because honestly, pentagons are hard to draw. Uh, I try. I managed to do something okay with the first three, and then for the last one, um, I kind of gave up because it went all over the place. Let's not worry too much about that. I'm not going to ask you to draw these pentagons. I'm just going to ask you to learn some patterns about them. So we have 1, 5, 12, and 22 for our pentagonal numbers. They noted, Pythagoras and the Brotherhood noted, some important relationships between these numbers. For example, every pentagonal number can be written as the sum of a triangular number and a square number. Five is equal to one plus four. Uh, 12 is equal to three plus nine. 22 is equal to six plus 16. We use subscript notation like this to, repeat, to represent the nth triangular number. Um, this is T sub three and that's equal to six. One plus two plus three is six. Similarly, S sub n represents the nth square number and P sub n represents the nth pentagonal number. And if we take a look at those numbers above, the five equals one plus four and so on and so forth, that means that P2 or P sub two is equal to T sub one plus s sub two, and 12 is three plus nine, that's p sub three is equal to t sub two plus s sub three. And finally, 22 is six plus 16, that's p sub four equals t sub three plus s sub four. So we could set up a general rule that p sub n equals t sub n minus one plus s sub n. And I just realized that, oh good, it didn't bleed through too badly. Excellent, I'm glad to see that. So there are formulas for each of these sets of figure at numbers. t sub n is equal to n times n plus one over two. S sub n equals n, uh, n squared, and P sub n equals n times 3n minus 1 over 2. So using these formulas, I want you to find the values of T sub 7, S sub 12, and P sub 6. Take a few seconds, pause the video if you need to, and we'll look at this in a little bit. All right, so we can do this. T sub, n, a T sub seven is equal to seven times seven plus one over two. That's seven times eight over two. Seven times eight is 56 over two, that's 28. S sub 12, that's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna switch over to green, I guess. I like switching up my colors. S 
So 12 equals 12 squared. And if we plug that into a calculator, that's 144. We do 12 times 12 if we want to. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add it up, 144. Finally, we have P sub 6. P sub 6 is going to be, sorry, I went off the page a little bit. P sub 6 is going to be 6 times 3 times 6 minus 1 all over 2, which is 6 times 18 minus 1 over 2. So 6 times 17 over 2. I don't know what 6 times 17 is off the top of my head. That's why we have calculators. Six times 17 is 102, over two is 51. Okay, so we're going to do one more problem. I want you to try and use the method of successive differences to find the sixth pentagonal number when the first five are 1, 5, 12, 22, and 35. Take a few moments, pause the video if you need to, and we'll look at this. All right, so let's set up our method of successive differences. 1, 5, 12, 22, 35. I'm going to leave a blank space for the sixth one. 5 minus 1 is 4. 12 minus 5 is 7. 22 minus 12 is 10. 22, uh, 35 minus 22 is 13. Leave a blank here. 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. 13 minus 10 is 3. So whatever the difference is between this number and 13, it's got to be 3. Well, 13 plus 3 then is 16. 35 plus 16 is 51 which matches the number we found using the formula for pentagonal numbers.